Now, we will go over how to program the drive chain. For this tutorial, we are going to do arcade drive, but there are other drive formats that work as well. The premise of arcade drive is to be able to control the speed of one joystick while turning with the other. Starting off, we will create a drive chain subsystem by right clicking on the robot folder, using the create new class command, and creating a new subsystem. Inside of VS Code, we will set up a few Falcon motors inside of our robot. We use six motors in this demo. We will first create the objects to access the motors with IDs that we found in our robot. If you have other versions of motors or are having difficulty setting them up, you can refer back to our motor programming video to get a refresher on them. Now we will import motor controller group, which will allow us to have control over multiple motors at once. This can be done by creating a new motor controller group object with the motors as arguments. We will create two different motor controller group objects, but one will be for the left side of the drive chain, while the other will be for the right side of the drive chain. In order to have access to the different drive chain abilities, we will import the differential drive class to get the functions that allow the actual drive to work. We will make an object of the differential drive called drive. To fulfill its arguments, we will use the motor control groups that we created. Going back to robot.java, we will make an instance of the drive chain subsystem to utilize its properties. Lastly, we will use the arcade drive function and select it as a solid drive that we want to use. First, we have to set up an Xbox controller class so that we can get our Xbox controller inputs. We will call the Xbox controller drive stick. Now, we will scroll down and use our arcade drive method using the Xbox controller axes as inputs. The raw axis acts as the joysticks or the triggers on your Xbox controller. The parameters that get raw axis uses are to differentiate one axis from the other. I will use 0 and 1 so that I can control the robot using one joystick, but you can implement other axes as well. If you need to find the IDs of the axis for your controller, you can use the FRC driver station. Shown on the screen are the instructions that you can use to find the axis. First, you would open the USB row on the left hand side. After that, you will pick out the Xbox controller in the USB order. The USB order is also the number that you would set on your Xbox controller parameter we set earlier. Lastly, to the right of it, you can see the axis and their current values. The numbers to the left of it are the IDs that you have to set up for the raw axis. Another thing that I want to add, we place the minus sign next to the first scale raw axis in order to invert it. If we did not do this, then the drive will go backwards when we were trying to go forward. There are other styles of drive chains such as curvature drive, which is the same as arcade but with a button that needs to be pressed to turn in place. The other style is tank drive, which has each joystick control one side of the drive chain. Programming these two drives would be similar to arcade drive, however it will require different axes and buttons to drive correctly. There are other methods that help make the drive chain go smoothly, such as the set inverted, 
which inverts the rotation of the motors to make it be able to drive straight. Another method that can be helpful in debugging is the dot-get method for motors, which returns the actual speed to which the motor is going. 